Check it out. That's Honda number one. This is Honda number two. That's an XR250, 1979. We're doing a restoration on with a White Brothers swing arm. Then over here, we got, what's going on, Holmes? How you doing, Ronnie? 1984 Honda CR80. Ronnie's doing a uh, preservation restoration services on it. This will be coming up soon. And then we got a Honda CR60. This is a really rare piece. I, I don't even remember ever seeing one of these, do you? Uh, they're pretty rare, they didn't make a lot of them. This, the, the previous owner had painted the frame black and I, I thought about framing it and uh, painting it red, but you know, we just decided to go, go with go with uh, the look it has. So um, this, this will be coming up, so I can't wait to ride this. I, I can't ever remember even seeing a video online of a CR60. And uh, then we got another ADR. This is uh, one of our um, current projects. What, what, what year is this one? 87 CR80R. So we got an 84, an 83 CR480 uh, that Kyle was on, an 84 CR80, a 83 CR60, and an 87. Seven. And then what year is this one? And then that's a 98 CR80. 98 CR80. And this, this one here, folks, this is a Jeremy McGrath replica right here. This is a steel frame CR250. Um, what, what year is this one? That's a 1995. 95, 1995. So. This is a full frame off resto we're doing on that one. Them docks over here, he's been putting the, the dock tuna. This is Doc's haberdashery. See the sign? Hey, buddy, yeah, now. What's going on, my man? All right, all right. That's 1992. a. 1992. Wow. 125R. How come you get the nicest one to work on? <laughs> Doc, Doc and uh, the boys just did a restoration on this, and it is absolutely stunning. Gold chain, new Dunlop tires, neon plastics. Uh, just a stunning piece. I can't wait to send it on this one. Hell yeah. Hell yeah, brother. <laughs> the words of Cletus. Absolutely Look at that. beautiful. It is stunning. It speaks for itself. Wait it's eye candy, for sure. Absolute eye candy. Look at the pipe on this thing. Swing. Chrome. But it, my love it. Say chrome won't get you home, but <laughs> it <sure> looks good. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the tires on this thing. Look at the hairy nubs on them. Wow. Honda days, folks. Honda days. And then we got a ATC 125 we're resurrecting. And uh, I know it's Honda days, but uh, Junior's uh, Unadilla winning Mako is getting a refresh here. Polished all aluminum on the tank and they painted the cylinder head on it. So, but back to the Hondas. Team Honda day, folks. And what, Doc, this one, this one's getting frequent flyer miles. This has been on your bench forever. We set the tank out to have it professionally redone at Mill Street Auto. And uh, is that almost done with that? God, I hope so. Hopefully. Um, that's one of the last years of the metal tanks, right? Uh, that, no, it's actually a plastic tank. Oh, it is? Oh, yeah. They're painting the plastic tank? Yeah, first oh, wow. Tank. Yep. 1980. 1980. CR125. So we got some Hondas cooking here, folks. That was one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight Honda CRs from the 80s and early 90s getting resurrected here. So, rock stock. So, so um, Ronnie, uh, you... you Oh, I'm also wearing the shirt. I got the I got the Honda shirt on because I'm about to go send it on another CR 125. So Ronnie, uh, what'd you say about our Honda collection? How about I say, if you don't check our catalog out, we got the best Hondas on this side of Connecticut River. Amen. I can't say Mississippi, the best Hondas. KaplanAmerica.com, www.KaplanAmerica.com. Check it out. There's 156 motorcycles being auctioned off this week including I think 30 some odd Hondas, some Primo Hondas. So some of our project bikes that you can finish yourself, some are ones we've totally restored, and some are just uh, bikes we've tuned up and done a preservation service. So let's go take a rip on that CR125 up at the shop and see what's happening. Before we head up to the next phase, I want to give you an update on the trailer restoration. This is a 2005 Pace that um, squirrels polished all the aluminum on the exterior, replaced all the bolts holding the trim on here polished the entire aluminum trim polished actually my daughter jordan helped too she was here for she, she probably put 25 hours in this we polished all the aluminum on the floor um we took out the e-track that was on the uh on the um on the side here took that out and repainted it polished all the aluminum floor 
magic eraser can clean the whole ceiling. I got a new ceiling vent going in. Polished all the cabinets, all the aluminum. Squirrel, how's it going, brother? It's going good, my man. I'm trying to make the magic happen again today, you know? It's looking good. Looking yes, real. What, 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 what are you working on today on the project? It looks like you got the uh, E track repainted. E track. Nice. This is head up, set up to haul eight bikes, three in the front, three in the back, and two in the middle here. And we're putting a mattress up at the top there. So I'm going to like Mid Ohio or Unadilla, wherever we'll have a queen size bed up at the top there uh, to sleep in, and with windows on both sides. And it's got a escape hatch uh, up in the ceiling there. So the plastics on the wall, because when we're buffing the floor, we uh, polishing the floor, we didn't want to mess up the walls. Which the walls, it's a whole nother story. This is this is Honda Day, so I won't get too much into it, but. It's coming out really nice, man. On the day. Perfect timing. Another, this is another dime piece, as you would call it. We're doing a Honda Days video. Yeah. It's perfect. Yeah. Listen to that thing. Oh, hey, rev it up, rev it up, rev it up a little bit. It's got a great What's up? Nasty. Wind carburetor. Wow. You don't make them like that anymore. What a beautiful piece. No wonder Kenny paid all the money for this thing. He heard the motor and he lost his mind. Paid a fortune for this thing, but boy, it is badass. Yeah, Look at that thing. Very nice. Wow. Beautiful. Look inside the gas tank. Oh, shit. It's like oh, brand, brand new. new. Look at even the original warning sticker. Maybe he didn't pay too much for it. <laughs> Unbelievable. You just don't find them like that, man. 50 years old with warning sticker on there. Original paint, too. Beautiful. XR650. Two-time 500cc winning, shootout winner, my bike, Junior's Unadilla oh, guys, machine. Did we ever videotape the 89 we got no. from Darren? No, nope. uh, no. No press, please. Um, that one's, uh, we're going to pretend like that's not there. Okay. So going to tuck it away and forget about it. Uh, can I look at mine? That's look my that 401k. One. Look at that, man. Swing. That thing's bad. Guys, if you're filling spots in your collections, buy steel frame uh, Hondas. No, no, no. Don't buy any steel frame Hondas. They're terrible. <laughs> <laughs> I hate these steel frame Hondas. Buy Kawasaki's, man. Hey, you guys over in the UK watching, hey, buy man. Kawasaki's. We're exporting plenty of Kawasaki's. No Hondas, though. This is my forever bike right here. CB100. It's uh, until death do us part, and then Junior gets it. He can't even sell it. We got a contract on this one. Gold member. Gold member's going nowhere. Ah. Angel singing. 